guys. Meanwhile, the players will be needing a minute. I'll quickly give you the video for how to contribute and then we will get started. So be right back. You can visit the Match Arena page for our event and contribute in many different ways. One, free coupon. Click contribute, enter the specified coupon code to contribute a predetermined amount of money to the prize pool. Two, free sponsor quests. On the right side of the screen are various actions supported by sponsors, including retweets, Twitter follows, surveys, among other things. Click into these boxes to complete the action and add the attached prize contribution to the pool free of charge. 3. Marketplace. Products are available in our marketplace which also contribute to the fundraising pool. Be sure to check out the variety of apparel and collectibles as well as other unique items. 4. Donate. Clicking on the Contribute button, you're able to add funds to your Matcharina wallet and then directly contribute them to the fundraiser page. Thanks for supporting your event with Matcharino. Well, the video is over. Thank you for watching it. Uh, they are still not back in the lobby. But I guess that is okay. We can quickly check out Matcharino one more time. Uh, right here. Alright, so we seem to be on $50.50. They are getting the lobby ready, as you can hear in the background. Oh, we are on $51. Very good. Somebody must have used the code. Let's see. There you go. Thank you so much for using the coupons, guys. You are really helping out. As you can see, you know, we're getting higher and higher. And uh, yeah, just remember it is for free. You can see the video, obviously, or you did see it. And yeah, so check also out the marketplace. Right here we have lots of figures and also some Matcherino hoodies if you're interested in that. And uh, yeah. All right, now we're loading into the next map right here so we do have a loser bracket round four that's correct scores are zero zero it is a best of three that is correct yeah i guess we are good so remember you can always contribute for free we are at 51 dollars right now and uh yeah we will see a visor versus an eisen Prepare to fight. Here we go. Rum just connected to the server. Begins in three, two, oh yeah, we forgot one. to do a prediction. Fight. So let me set it up for you. A prediction of who will win. First we have to complete the old prediction. So here we go. First track already for Sus. He came in strong with his rockets. Now stacking up with some smallies. I'll leave this prediction open for five minutes, guys, and we are starting now. Second frag for Zeus. He seems to be pretty strong here versus Rom. Mega secured, he's now out for the chase using the nails. Here we go, another rail received by Rom. Alright, Zeus now was railable, not anymore, but he is pretty uh, not close anymore to being railable. But we got confronting each other right here. The rockets, the rails through the turret. Railed Rom, Rom secures the Mega. And there we go, he gets his first frag. Let's do watch him for that. Well done. So Rom going for these sneaky angles. So yeah, Zeus is actually the one who is higher seeded.
But that doesn't need to mean anything. Turret was also placed. Rom didn't go up to push, so he's only one frag behind Rom. It is two to one for Zeus. Right now, predictions are more on uh, Rom than Zeus. People think that Rom will win. Side pop toward taking care of swiftly. This was spamming a little bit with the tri bolt, but the rockets in the end will bounce oh, and damage him a little bit. Stackwise, they are almost even. Zeus has a advantage. Rum dealing that damage he needs. Just needs a little bit more. Two more rails and that would be it. Is he gonna meet the Eisen? Yes, he will right here with the LG, but he turns around. He chases and there we go. He actually suicides. So well done here. Forcing your opponent to kill himself. This is uh, always good. And here we go. Wait, I was about to say he's gonna get a frag, but is he? Yes, he almost jumped out of the map as well. Has 53 health left. And you, by the way, still have chance to vote with your channel points. Right now, 75% of the channel points are on Rom. Only 25% are on Zeus. Let's see. Right now, it looks like Rom will be stronger. But map is not over yet. Not even half of it. No more rails. Three to one still in scores. They disengage right now. The piercing side will give an exact location. There we go. Rom wants to pressure him more. Wants to keep the game action packed. Five minute warning. Half of it is now over. Only a two frag difference. Anything could still happen. Is Zeus gonna be able to handle the pressure that Rom is putting on him? Oh, Rom very strong with his aim. What? Eisen was standing behind. Yeah, he's uh, Zeus is saying a question mark. It looked like he was behind, but yeah, he must have been in the middle of it and it didn't pick up. So I don't know, Quake today is having some issues. Unfortunately, nothing we can really do about it. Really strange. Second now, th second time now that Quake messes up a little bit. This time he gets it, all right. Zeus gets the heavy. Weird. Let's actually switch to him as well. First, after this confrontation, Rom deals some self damage. Ah, and there we go. It is Zeus getting his third frag now. Four to three. Three minutes 30 are left on the map. Only one frag difference. There will be another frag happening, but who will it be? It is Rom losing his life. Once again, quick thinking here and a quick trigger finger by Zeus on the rail. Here we 
go, another huge confrontation. But actually no frag happening from it. They both survive about 50 health and 25 armor. And here we go, strong aim. Zeus showing what he's made of. He's pretty mad about that uh, heavy pickup not working for him. We now went to ROM. Stackwise, they are pretty even. The shotgun versus. But now nails versus the rail and the LG. But again, no frag. So 5 to 4. And 2 minutes are left. go another rail third will be jumping up and down happily oh, and there we go rom i guess was, was a little bit distracted by that turret loses life once again we have one minute 30 left there are two frag difference here we go lg on lg it looks like rom is gonna die and he will let's actually switch to him he's now the three frag deficit will he be able Catch up these frags and win the first map in this loser bracket round four match. The winner of this whole matchup, by the way, will go versus Karis, a new player in the cup. Go. A lot of rails coming out. Ron being aggressive. He misses out on the mega and also misses out on the frag. So now we have 40 seconds left. Five frags difference. It's not gonna happen anymore. This map is over. We might as well call GG. It will be Zeus who's just dying once again. Who will be getting the first point. So our player in red. 15 seconds are now left. Still a frag difference of 4. 10 seconds. The rail hit. So it's good to stay warm. You know, keep in the game. Just keep playing those last few seconds. That's fine. And here we go. 1, 2, 0. Now in map scores, it is the lower bracket. So if Rom loses another... Map, he will be completely out of Cupquake number four. And let's go back to menu. All right, we are still on $51. By the way, you can contribute for free. I bet you already know most of you. All right, here we go. Let's say that we are ready because it's true. Right, guys? We're ready. By the way, always stay hydrated. Also very important. Rom's also ready and Zeus is ready. So we are loading into this next map. So by the way, remember... Here is your way of contributing to this tournament. And we are loading into the next map. It's actually Blood Run, one of my favorite maps. It is in this map pool. That we have for the Cupquakes, because it actually is out of all the other map pools, unfortunately. Posture check, my posture is fine. Like, I'm just, I'm leaning on the table. I'm not like sitting like this. Everything's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, but thank you for taking care of me. By the way, the uh, who will win will be Ram or Zeus. More people are believing. Actually, no, the same amount of people are believing in uh, Ram and Zeus. But prepare to fight. That was funny. 
But more money is on Rom. Three, two, one, fight. So let's see what's going to happen. I will lead the way. All right. See, that was a lot of damage dealt by this kill. By the way, you have a scale bearer. Rom loves playing scale bearer. That's probably why he picked this map. It was his pick. Heal using some more nails than are necessary. Taking a little bit extra damage there. And Zeus again is doing the gauntlet thing. Yes, Thunder is as well. The first match we've seen him in. And he was the one who did uh, some beautiful bunny hopping with the Sorlag backwards. It looked really cool. Sneaking around. Oh wow, there we go, Zeus. Very good aim there with the LG. I was so baffled, I couldn't even say anything. And we have a one-to-one -one score between these two tanky champs. We got some tribal coming out. Good choice. By the way, let's do watch some scale bearer. <laughs> Hearing the pickup, the opponent going the other direction. Two minutes played, we have one to one. The thing is so quiet. I'm still listening for that kill. Where is he going? He needs to get some proper weapons first here, Rum. Here you go. Now Rum is in trouble once again and Zeus is able to finish him off. God, Rom, what? Just standing there? <laughs> what was that? What? Zeus is laughing about this. I can't believe it. He bull rushed down after just standing there receiving all that damage. Landed on the head, didn't connect the bull charge, then went to the circle around him and hit him. And then found the last bit of damage as well. What? Yeah, Rom making everything work here. No matter how, it doesn't matter how, just make it work. They're meeting again here on these platforms, are they? Keel is up here, yes. Bull rush! Ah, was evaded. Rom right now just trying to find Zeus. We were both pretty low. Rom is still healthier. But he only has natural stack. Almost full. Now very full. Here we go. Five minutes are about to be played. This game is just... It always slows down so much. They are both 
uh, heavy champions, they have a lot of stack to use and fight. But still, it's just it's so slow here. After map is now over, we have two to two. None of them want to lose. After all, is the loser's bracket. If Rom loses, he will be completely out of Cupquake number four. There we go. Just as I say that. It must have uh, scared him a little bit. He must have felt that I said that. So... Here come the fire. Go, he makes it happen. A lot of damage here from that bull rush. And we do have 4 to 2. He takes the lead even further. He missed. Ah, he messed up the timing. He, he mixed up those two items. And then Zeus just goes around the pillar in a circle. And Rob is so very mad. Showing us his frustration in uh, the chat. Go good avoidance again. So Zeus here is very prepared for this scale bearer. He's done this rocket jump, um, evading of a bull rush twice now. And here we go. Five to three. Xu says, uh, "Lol." Actually, he's not very happy with this frag. I suppose that just went against him. The mega is taken, and he gets out. All right. Well, he did get the item. He has the lead frag wise. Five to three. We have three minutes left to play, and Rom is happily cruising around. Oh wow, running into another grenade, giving away the position. And also the jump pad. Ah, in the end he gets found there. It was lucky that he didn't get killed right away from that leftover grenade. We got two very important weapons for him. Oh look at that, beautiful left and right. And he's st what? Really? He just stamped on him. Dealing more damage, that was beautifully done. Stomp, I mean, I mean, not stamp. <laughs> stomp. Here we go. There we go. Rom really giving it now to Zeus. Two minutes left. We have double the scores for Rom. Four to eight, and now exactly two minutes left. That's looking good for him. The second map, his pick. Also, I think one of his favorite champions, at least if not his very favorite champion. <laughs> he got damaged all the way, and it's like, nah, I'm not gonna give you that satisfaction of killing me after that. I'm not gonna go to the telly. All right, and he makes it. Ah, wonderful. I come bearing gifts. There we go. Rom is just making it short now. Four to ten. Still trying with the gauntlet. He knows the game is over. We have one minute ten seconds. There we go. He can't even make the gauntlet work. But the grenades and the shotgun here. One minute warning. There you go. Right, another frag for Zeus, but I guess it's just, you know. That's just it. We do have a GG, so we will see the tiebreaker map between these two. They want to have a shot at this prize money from the Cupquake. Number four, we are at $51.20. You can see it below the weapon skins there. <laughs> 45 seconds into the minute, so 10 seconds left now, and it is 
Rom getting another frag. Zeus once again respawning. Rom has two health. Yep, railing him again. And here we go. We do have GG, which means we will be seeing a tiebreaker here. One uh, score point for the man in blue. And some music. Music's always good. And then we will load back into the menu. We can also check out the bracket if you'd like. Let's first check out map picks. So we are in loser bracket round number four. Winner of this will play against Keres, I suppose. That's how you say his name. I don't uh, really know. I really know him at all. But he seems to be good. And uh, it. Here we go. Let's go back into the lobby. Alright, we did receive a donation. Um, I have to quickly look it up. Meanwhile, we will get the match started, I think. Remember, you can contribute. Uh, wait, let's go on... Dream Labs, I have to... Check it on there. Because my OBS kind of... We have to get an invite here, so Cook will be also streaming this game. Um, here we go. It was uh, Rico. Donating 15 euros. So thank you so much. By the way, you could have contributed it right to the prize pool. So it's a little bit less complicated, but uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to the match now. It's kind of it's bad when I have to do three things at the same time. Uh, I'll just do it later. We can do it after the tournament. All the rest. So yeah, thank you for the donation. We'll add it later. Oh wait, I can't wait because I have to tell the nigga. Alright, so we are done now. And so these 15 euros will be going to the price pool. We'll do it later after the stream. And now we will have a mirror match first. Prepare to fight. We have Rom versus Zeus once again. Three, it is the tiebreaker. Two, one. Fight. Time to die. So let's get this party started right here. Right, there we go. First frag. Actually, for both here. One to one after 24 seconds. Already. We have a lot of screaming here because we have two BJs playing against each other. From super low. Pushing through the teleport is Zoo chasing. Chasing and... What? <laughs> what? Uh, ah! <laughs> I'm 
unbelievable. What, what was that? That should have been a clear frag for Sue, but no, it was a frag for Rom. Let's watch him. There go, he's meeting the other BJ Blasco witch. Unbelievable. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> We will pop by one of the BJs. Uh, it's just so funny to listen to both of them making the same kind of noises, especially the screaming. Ah. And here we go, Zeus here, tying up the lead once again. Maybe left uh, up here by Rum. All right. Waiting a little bit. He has the nails in his hand. Double nail. All right, and the mega secured. Can't really make these last shots count. Maybe is now up, Rom, on the way there. All right, he will get it, no problem. Dual Five wheel down. popped. Dual wheel algaes. Now dual wheel rockets versus normal. And now normal wins. There you go. Mega secured. Immediately, Rom has a plan to delete it, but work out for him the dual wheel here was a little bit wasted no more rockets for him and that will cost him another life otherwise he could have pushed away zeus i'm pretty sure all right let's do watch zeus here four to four after three minutes remember this is a lower bracket match which which means um since this is the tiebreaker the loser of this very map will be out of cupquake number four Who's waiting and trying to uh, summon armor? There you go. Time to die. Might have been because he pointed at the wrong spot. We got dual wield. Coming out with the machine gun. The heavy machine gun zoomed in. That's actually dealing quite a lot of damage there. Very good alternative rail. BJ here is just waiting. It's Zeus, by the way, player in red. Here we go with the machine gun. Very good alternative rail usage. Here we go. And some more LG tickle, but not really too much. Zeus definitely in the worst position here, lower ground. Go gets found again by the machine gun, this time by Rom and the rocket beautifully placed. Let's check out Rom once again. Dual wheel comes out. Rockets. This is the LG and the LG here. Single handedly, I suppose. <laughs> Rom. This BJ does it. There we go. Two hands work as well for him. And we have seven to four. And five minutes are about to be over. What's gonna happen in this last half? A five minute warning. The first they're fighting over the heavy and uh, nobody gets it. <laughs> heavy spawns in just right after the suicide and the kill. Done by Rom. Alright. Oh, 22 health left for him only, and Zeus coming in once again. Let's watch him a little bit more. We're giving a little bit more screen time to Rum. After all, he is also in the lead. And he is the underdog. He is lower seeded in this tournament, at least. 
But let's see. So we have six to seven in score. Zeus is behind. We're watching him. Still having this mirror match. Uh, BJ versus BJ. <gasps> Oh god, and that shotgun shock, that first one, dealing 100 damage was beautiful. Putting Rom into trouble now. Ah, and he takes the lead, but it's okay for Rom. We still have 3 minutes 50 seconds left on the clock, which means plenty of time. He's gotta calm down, not give up. And Zeus makes a movement mistake, did not pick up the heavy. He seems to be very unlucky with that thing. Yeah, he can't believe it. How did you get it? Yeah, he says. Well, you walked past it. On well, a spectator um, view, we also saw it. It was just you walked past. There we go. You can't let it get to you, even if the game messes up. You can't let it get to you. You have to stay focused. You're just gonna lose frags. And this map here is very important. Time to die. It is their last one. Tiebreaker Rooster is completely out of the tournament because we're already in the lower bracket. We have 10 to 8 now and 3 minutes left. Now 11 to 8. There is still time for Zoo here to make a comeback happen. We're still watching him. Rom is defending the bridge. The nails are not connecting at all but rom's rockets are 12 to 8 another frag for rom He's now chasing ah in the end still the dual wheel chasing through the teleport worked out for him i think suhi has already given up he shouldn't have he really shouldn't have there was a lot of time left but by now we have two minutes 15 oh, seconds no. six frags difference make that seven and yeah, I also believe that Rom got it, which means that the predictions were correct actually done by Twitch chat. So thank you for predicting with your channel points, but also for free. Seventy-five percent of the channel points were on Rom, twenty-five percent on Zeus. So Goes. Zeus is still trying to get some frags, but we already have 16 to 8 in scores. 1 minute 30 left. We might as well call GG here. Rom has it and will continue and will play against uh, Harris, I believe is his name. Another frag here, Rom, 18 to 8 for Zeus, 10 frags difference, so yeah, they're just, uh, it's a messy game here in the end, just uh, getting frag after frag, not really caring. And we have GG's, which means, let's so check out the scoreboard, and our player in blue made it, now has two points. And this match is decided. The names are a little bit messed up. But that is okay. So the prediction result is that Rom has won. We've already got that. And now we have Karis. Uh, is Karis Russian? I don't know. I really don't know that player. Maybe his uh, Smash Bro file says something about that. 